For kwa miaka 22 alikuwa kila mwaka akiiweka hii tournament kumkumbuka mke wake. Kwa hivyo ni pia mnaendeleza ili kumkumbuka Rozi, Rozi Ganiwala. Yes. Alafu uh, 2015 uh, Bakir mwenyewe pia naye akaenda mbele ya haki. Hii ilikuwa ni fikira ambayo hata mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nayo. Kila nikipita kuna kucheza mpira ni mpira wa mpira. Nikipita kuna kucheza mpira naona hao wazee wazee kabisa wakiingia kwa kuta ile begi lao la mipira yao kikifikiria kwamba huu ni mchezo wa wazee. Lakini tumekuja kuelewa kwamba hata kule Commonwealth wanaocheza ni, ni vijana wadogo. In fact yule ambaye ni champion huko Commonwealth ni mtoto wa miaka 20, 21, 22. Na, wewe si wazee. Si mpira, si mpira wazee. Huu mtu yote anaweza kucheza ni mchezo ambao una unachukua fikira, unachukua ujuzi wa kurusha. Si kurusha peke yake. Anaweza kukupatia mpira wewe ukajaribu utakuta unakwenda. <laughs> My name is Maria Hassanani and uh, I have been bowling here for the last three years. As his as the captain said that uh, initially there were only old people playing but now since I've started playing uh, I realize it's it's a game where young middle-aged and old they can all play this game it's not confined to old people and uh, I would say that with this game uh, it combines your mind with your body it goes together and the mobility of your body and then you know you bowl yeah, uh, in, uh, out of the 30 players that you have in the club, how many women are you maybe? We must be about uh, 8, 10 women. Yeah. I saw a young one. And, a and young young, lady? There is a young lady who just recently started playing. Her name is Zara. And we have young men as well as you have seen uh, who started bowling. 
So we want to encourage everybody, all Kenyans, really, to come and join us here. There are many members here of the sports club, and we are trying to encourage everyone to come and bowl with us. What is the view of the young ladies when you talk to them to concern them bowl? How do they take it? You see, with any sport, you need time and commitment. And young people of today, uh, really, you need to get them into, you know, coming and bowling. Okay, you see, many, more, many of you see maybe they perceive it to be boring because they are more... No, yeah, it's, are more not, it's not a high-impact game. It's not a high-impact, really. But as I said, if, if you want to improve your mind and the mobility of your body going together, then this is the game. Really, it's not a high impact because most young people go for football and rugby to maybe to lose weight or, you know, increase their heart rate. Here, of course, it's not that. It is really, as I said, to increase your mind and mobility to go together. And as well, it really helps you on focus, focusing your, um, uh, your mind. In the near future, are we going to see a ladies team from a Sports Club maybe? And a ladies yeah, tournament in the past, maybe? in the past, well, not uh, just ladies team, the ladies have been part of men. But hopefully, if we get, uh, you know, local people, the Momasa people, to come and join in, and that would be just great to have uh, Mombasa women join us. A ladies team maybe in the a ladies team, tournament? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> in fact, uh, Kama napo kambia, sisi ni timu moja ya Mombasa Sports Club. We go to Nairobi, we play against Nairobi Club, where there is a green. We go to Karen, where there is a Karen Club, they also have a green. We go to Ruiru, where they also have a green and Limuru. So, uh, as you can see, last uh, two, three months during the Commonwealth, we had two bowlers representing Kenya. One was Kefas from Limuru and Eunice from Nairobi. So uh, even the women were represented in, uh, in, uh, in our Kenya team.